hello welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to make a montage so uh you can uh use this uh, method to quickly put together your time lapse series although there are several ways you can do this before now before i learned to use the montage method using the image j software I usually uh, split my time lapse into frame and then arrange this frame into Photoshop manually. And this costs a lot of time. So, okay, let me show you what I usually do. And then I will show you the fastest way to create this type of uh, image. So, here I have the time lapse series I've acquired from the microscope and i would like to view like in uh, like if i'm writing my report i cannot put a video in a report so i would like to split this into several frames so i can arrange it so what i'm going to do now is duplicate this uh, stack and make this into convert the stacks into several frame i'm sure most of us do this i'm sure there are other people that uh, already know how to use the montage method so what i usually do before now is to split my stack into images and then i have 40 frames okay and then and i begin to save this so if you if you put this into tiles we can see the different uh So we can, these are the frames that we have. And before now, I would have saved these individually and uh, save them to, I'll just save them to the desktop, save and repeat this process. And it really takes a lot of time to arrange them into the either Photoshop or PowerPoint, depending on which of the software you use in creating your figures okay so i will not be saving all i think i will use this uh, 10 frames for example and then you can see that it really takes a lot of time in creating these uh, frames okay so now i'm going to be closing the rest just to save time and not bore you with too much of a uh, wood method So I'm using the um, control W to close this instead of uh, clicking. Okay. So imagine in the past, I would have done this like, okay, let us assume we are going to use PowerPoint and I would have had to Take the whole images in order to make sure that I arrange them according to time. This time you can see the way the number are followed. Although if I was initially, if I was doing it like the way I used to do it before, I would number the, the different uh, time points so that I don't mix them up. So I would have been doing this like manually and although it's nice because you can select the frame that uh, the parts you want to show and not just everything and uh, we just keep doing this which will really take time so let's see how well we can put them together i would i just drag and drop all of them at once but we want to make sure we put them we want to make sure that we we'll put them in the right order because these images are, are like uh, some minutes apart i'm sure you'll be wondering why didn't i just use this uh the suggested method of the uh, that the powerpoint is uh, recommending it's just that sometimes it does some weird automatic uh, alignment that i don't really like okay 
so we would have just done this for like 40 frames and you would have noticed that oh, we would then have to be playing with the frames fit, uh, fitting into the into the uh, space so because now we have them here right so we want to make it looks really good then we'll begin to do things like this anyway so this is one of the old way i old ways i used to do this before i learned the method i'm going to teach you how to do and uh that really saved me some time and you know sometimes when you learn to do things in a different way and it saves you time it really brings this kind of uh, happiness and i'm sure if you finally learn to do this you are going to be saving yourself a lot of uh, time spent on on editing anyway so this is what i would have be fighting myself with with foot uh, with a uh, powerpoint trying to align and make sure everything looks good but let's forget about this old method and learn a new method so how would i have done this differently well let me just show you this i'm going to so this is our frame here and it's just a two click to do the 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 tasks that will save you a lot of time and how do we do this you go to image we go to stacks remember when i needed to split my uh, stacks into different individual frames i went to stacks to image but today we are not going to be splitting the frame and arranging manually into any of the either photoshop or, or illustrator or powerpoint but we want image to do it for us so we'll go to stacks image stacks make montage this window will open up and let me make it wild oh no doesn't really make any sense like that okay so you can decide how many columns you want the frames to arrange into and also if you how many rows so because we have 40 pitch, uh, 40 frames here you could say okay you want the there are there to be five uh, eight frames in uh, per column and then you want five column or you want vice versa so you can just decide how you want this so if we choose this and um, scale factor this is the, this uh, fact uh, this scaling is asking you how well you want the size of the image to look like when the montage is made if we use 0 0.5 it means is going to reduce our uh, image size from its original size meaning you'll be getting a 25 uh, about 75 um, percent reduction in size it's not going to affect the quality of your image but it will look really really small the size is if you're working with this um uh like a, like bacteria cell that is round and it's not as big as this my uh, fungus uh, spore you can use 0 0.25 that way you can just have everything in a single roll or two rows but with an image that is as big as this i'll be let's uh let me show you what a scale because by default it will recommend a 0 0.25 so let me show you what a 0 0.25 will look like and then we'll come back to these other steps so if we choose a 0 0.25 uh, scale factor can you see our image now that's what we are going to have let's brighten this up so if we brighten this up you can see clearly what we have here is our image scaled down to 0 0.25 uh, factor and if we repeat this process image stacks make montage the scale factor if we it's okay we want a we don't want like a, we want a one we want our image uh not to be scaled down and here you can if you don't want to show the 40 slices, the 40 slices of the the 40 frames you can say okay you want from maybe frame if you're interested in frame let's assume from frame number 10 to 20 you can decide that another alternative is this increment if you don't want the image to show the all 40 frames you can decide that okay i want to show every 40 frames so it will just show you the first, the four things like that. So let's take a, let's use that for as an example. 
and we will not be using the uh, label we'll come back to this and we'll say okay and you see we are not having the old 40 frames but instead we are having this it has selected the frames you can see the first one here the next frame so it's picked every fourth frame from these 40 frames and represent uh in that montage and if i'm repeating this process and i say okay the reason why we have that black space is because we said we want five rows and eight column we can because if we have every fourth uh frame shown that means we'll be having about 10 or 14 uh 10 or 11 uh images okay so let's just say we want five columns and just two rows and every fourth uh, image you see we're going to be having this instead which is really good because now we can see the difference between the 0 0.25 uh, scaled one although they are a lot and here showing every fourth uh, frame alternatively we can decide that we want i'm repeating this command why is it not setting make montage we can also decide that okay we want the um we want every because we are 40 so let's say we choose every second frame so that will give us about 20 we can increase this factor and the label of the slice is to show the different uh, numberings on the slice so here i'm going to choose the label slice so that you can see the importance of choosing the label on your montage you don't have to then do that manually see here because i chose a smaller font size it really makes it really small meanwhile we can choose a bigger font size so i'm going to repeat this again sorry guys i'm going to repeat that again and this time choose a bigger font so that i don't have to start uh, editing the font in uh, photoshop going to image stacks make montage so a readable font should be from around 30 and yes i'm going to make a smaller one here five columns maybe we should make it four and have a five rows so that is bigger and yes you can see that this font is readable and it will save you a lot of time of arranging your um arranging your frames into photoshop or powerpoint where is the one we were working with originally oh i didn't save it okay but you can see that with using this montage you're able to save yourself a lot of stress with time you can um, you can change the label because they when i split the frame when i split the frame stacks into frames it automatically saved the uh, timing as 0 0.12 something like that you can just quickly rename all your frames into the right timing of uh, events and that way when you say make montage and you tick the label uh tick the label function you can actually get the right um uh, write a label on your image i hope you find this tutorial useful please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, please give me a thumb up and if you have another feedback or another method of using of uh, making a montage from different frames or a quicker method please drop your comment in the comment section i will get back to you and if you would like to uh, teach me how to do something that you think people will benefit from please also leave your comments in the feedback or you could write me an email and i will definitely get back to you thank you for your love and thank you again for watching this tutorial until next time bye